bunch of years back, I guess it would have been about maybe eight years ago now, we were up in, uh, uh, in Alaska, and uh, out on the ocean there, there's, uh, there's an island called Kodiak Island, and there's several communities on that island, and uh, sometimes you see the Kodiak grizzlies, you know, that, uh, that's where they're from. And uh, several communities out there, and with this uh, particular time, we were going out to one of these villages, and uh, there had not been, uh, this was the first time they were allowing gospel music into that community. So we kind of didn't know what to expect, but we were pretty excited about going. And so we, we got into, uh, into the community and, uh, you know, it's just, you know, a couple hundred people in the community. That's about it. And uh, we, we got into, they put us, the biggest building in the community was the senior center. And it was about, well, not maybe about up to here, you know, like uh, this, this room about up to here. And uh, about that big, and uh, so we set up, you know, we'd flown in there, and uh, that's the only way to get around up there. Uh, and we flew in and uh, got all the stuff uh, loaded down to the senior center, and we set up uh, all the equipment, and we got going. And uh, boy, you know, it was time to start, and uh, <laughs> we looked around, and boy, there was about six or seven of us in the group that came. And there was about maybe five or six people in the room, two moms and uh, three kids. And so we outnumbered the crowd. And uh, so I was kind of, oh boy, I hope this changes a little bit, you know. So uh, we was really glad when, boy, the door opened and here come in a whole, uh, uh, maybe eight or ten adults, you know, that uh, we said, oh boy. And they all came in and sat down, you know. I thought, oh, okay, now we don't outnumber them no more. So I was glad of that. And uh, uh, so we, we got to uh, talking and I said, you know, there's not too many of us here. Why don't we all introduce ourselves? So we went down the road. You know, my name is Kenny, you know, and I'm from Calgary. And da 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 da, da that's, uh, I'm a gospel musician. And, uh, you know, the next one and the next one like that. And uh, so the people started introducing themselves. And the one at the end that had just come in, uh, he said, my name is Alex, and I've been sober for, I think he said, five years. Next one said, my name is Mary, and I'm an alcoholic, and I've been sober for 15 years. Next one said, my name is such and such, and I'm an alcoholic and I've been sober for whatever they said, 10 years. I didn't really hear them. Well, you know, it didn't take long to figure out, you know, hey, I know who these guys are. This is the local AA group that come and join us. Well, oh, great. Glad to have you. And they went down the road talking about uh, everyone said, I'm an alcoholic and I've been sober for how long? And, uh, you know, uh, as these guys were telling how many years they've been sober, we come to the second last guy. He said, my name is John, and I'm an alcoholic, and I've been sober for 17 months. Oh, boy, you know, my ears picked up on that. You know, everybody else said years, 10 years, 3 years, 5 years, whatever it was. And this guy is saying 17 months. And so, uh, you know, I, I got back to him afterwards and I said, you know, brother, you know, you, 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 when you introduced yourself, you said sober for 17 months. I says, everybody else said years uh, and you said months. What's the journey been like for you? He said, it's been really, really hard. He said, because of my drinking, my wife left me. And I'm a single dad, I got four kids. He said, now, uh, I found out that the biggest thing, the most important thing 
in staying sober, the most important thing in making it that way is prayer. He said, I'd never make it without prayer. He said, I pray in the morning when I get up and I pray with my kids and I pray as I go to work. I pray at work and you know, when I, you know, I pray before I, I eat, I pray for my kids before I put them to bed and then I pray again. He said, you know, if it wasn't for prayer, I'd never make it. So we got to, uh, uh, we, we finished the program there. And about two weeks later, we had already left Kodiak Island and uh, we were going somewhere. And I pulled out a napkin and it's the only thing I had to write on. And I started to write a song. I was trying to write a song called 17 Months. Oh boy, it got really frustrating because there's too many syllables in that. So I thought, well, he's going to be sober a little longer, you know, uh, a little longer now. So uh, we extended it, you know, I said, I'll make it 19 months and then I can, I can sing. So this is a song about sobriety. It's a song about staying sober. It's a song about a man that's found that prayer is the biggest weapon that he's got to fight that battle and to be able to live a sober lifestyle. Raised with this. 